as we move into forms like research reports and um, proposals within the course, it's a good idea, I think, to uh, review the use of sources um, within writing and, and proper citation uh, format with the use of those sources. Um, first, just a reminder, the, the per basic purposes of citation. Uh, number one is that it gives credit to other researchers when you use their work as sources, thereby you avoid plagiarism within your writing. Um, so it, it, it gives honor to the other researchers' work and, um, and helps you avoid um, misusing that research um, for your own purposes. Secondly, it develops support and connection for your own analysis. So it um, builds evidence um, and offers you um, some, some aspects for developing your own perspective within, uh, within your research writing. And uh, third, it provides a roadmap for the reader. So how does the reader get back to your sources? Uh, proper citation formatting allows the reader to do that. Uh, gives you access to your source data and uh, allows the reader to trace back to your sources for further research. We're going to use APA formatting within the course. Um, APA formatting in particular highlights uh, authorship and the, and the date. Uh, it, it emphasizes the currency of the research for the reader so the reader knows how current your sources are um, within your research writing. Uh, as noted in the first um, point above, that the that, that good citation format did, um, avoids plagiarism within writing. Um, there are various definitions to plagiarism uh, and, and, and various aspects to how plagiarism is, is uh, used within writing, and so you want to try to avoid it. Some possible examples of plagiarism here are where the source information is presented your, as your own work in various ways. So that can be through cutting and pasting online text without using quotation or citation, um, where you quote or paraphrase a source without offering citation for that. You use another person's research or argument um, without giving them credit, uh, where you adapt another writer's interpretation of data without citation. So again, you use another writer's work or another researcher's work um, you cite the exact words without marking them as a direct quotation. Sometimes this is done by mistake, um, where you write down some notes from a source and then put them into your paper, but you um, don't give credit or you don't recognize them as direct quotations. So when you're doing notations, be sure you carefully distinguish what is direct quotation versus what is your own writing. Um, and where you set up a paraphrase that, that w which uses words that are too close to the source without quoting it. Um, those are all examples of plagiarism um, that need to be avoided uh, as you do your research writing. Within research writing, there are um, some basic kind of keys to responding to sources, and I, I like to think about these as practical aspects uh, to research writing. Um, you can rethink the sor your source's position with your, in your own developing argument do you see that source as support for your argument, or do you see that source as counter-argument or complication uh, to your building argument? When you do um, engage sources, don't simply summarize and, or, or compile them within your research. Engage them in some way. So use analysis in some way. You know, Take apart the researcher's findings or conclusions, or use synthesis. Try to get sources into conversation with one another to explore the data's connection or relevance. Um, you don't just simply drop the uh, sources in like they're undigested meat or something. You know, Try to engage them on some level in terms of analysis or, or synthesis here. Um, when I do research, I will often, instead of just taking notes, I'll write short responses. Um, the earlier you do this in your research process, the, 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 the deeper your analysis can be because you start to think about the source's position. So summarize key readings and recognize their central concerns, perhaps write back to them. Um, some uh, research writers will call these like thought clouds um, where they, they build small bits of writing and then kind of assemble a paper or a research essay out of those um, short pieces of writing. And then another thing that's helpful, I think, is to build your references page separately as you write. You can keep this as a separate document 
within your um, research uh, so that when you get to the end of the paper, you have that um, references page that's all set to be handed in. Paraphrasing versus direct quotation. Uh, in regards to this, you know, it's better if you paraphrase more often because it shows that you have some mastery over the subject matter and the material in some ways. If you quote too much, it looks like you don't really know what you're talking about in the, in, in, in the writing. So um, focus on summary and paraphrase as much as you possibly can. Uh, like I say, it displays an understanding of the material and an incorporation of the source into your larger argument. Um, if you do use direct quotation, set context for those, uh, for those quotes. Um, introduce it by the speaker or the writer. Um, define its position within your larger argument. Do you see this as something that supports or complicates or counter argues um, within your argument? Um, be sure to give credit to the, to the researcher or writer in, in any event. Um, the, the points where you want to quote directly are where the words are so striking or authoritative that, that you want to use the words directly. Otherwise, you should probably summarize or paraphrase the material, particularly if it's a general introduction to your subject matter. Or if, you are, if, you, if you're quoting the source as an alternative perspective that you intend perhaps to take apart or analyze uh, bit by bit within the writing, then you might want to quote it and then kind of take it apart word by word. Regarding APA format, um, the in-text citation is, is very simple as, as, as um, noted in the text. Um, for, print resource, for print sources, you want to include the author and the year of publication, as noted here, Sherry Turkle, and then the year in which she published this. Um, this is a paraphrase of her work, so you include the author's name and the year that it was published. If you include a direct quote within APA formatting, be sure to include the page number after the quotation as noted here. So you include the author's name, uh, the year of publication, and then the page number after the quote um, noted here. If you have a study with two or more authors, for the in-text citation, include both names as noted here. If you have a work with three to five authors, you include all the names first, but then afterwards you use the Latin et al. Or, and others. Um, and the examples are here of that. And if you have a, 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 a source that has more than five authors, so you have a, you know, a collaborative research assignment, just use et al. after the uh, first researcher's name um, for all usages within the writing itself. For the formatting of the references page in APA format, uh, you include the word references centered at the top of the page. Uh, then you develop an alphabetized listing of the sources that's double spaced and indented with, with hanging indents after the first line of each source as listed. You'll see these in just a second. Uh, include the author, if, it's, if that author is available, with the basic publication data. Um, use the title if you don't have an author. And be sure you include the phrase retrieved from uh, with the use of web sources here. Here are some examples of, of reference uh, page entries for an APA formatted paper. Um, assume they're double spaced. Um, uh, here they're single spaced just for space spacing purposes, but use double spacing. Here's an example of a book by Sherry Turkle. Just use the first initial after her name uh, in the references page uh, with multiple authors. Here's an example as well, and the example of the way a journal article would be um, included within the references page as well. Author, uh, publication date, title, the name of the journal, its issue uh, number, and then also the page numbers there. The uh, online article uh, is, is referenced here as well. The, uh, be sure you include the retrieved from example that's available. Um, uh, to show the URL there. Uh, do not include the URL within an in-text citation within the paper. Uh, some people do that parenthetically. And that's absolutely the wrong way to do it. Just include the URL within the reference page. Include the author uh, within as an in-text citation there. Here's an example of a website and an example of an interview as well. Uh, and finally, uh, an, in an example of a documentary for APA formatting and an example of a report 
uh, developed by a corporate author. So here's the, these are examples of citation formatting and in-text citations. Um, uh, if you have further questions, please let me know.